I told and you, and I told you, and I told you. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the dork table. I'm still Flash. I'm still Grams. My co-hostage this 21st day of March 2020. Day four, or is it day five of lockdown? I, I've lost track already. I, I can barely handle it. I think it's day five of lockdown. When did, what day did we get locked down? We got locked down officially on Tuesday. So, anyway. Was it, oh, was it officially on Tuesday? I think. I may be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, we're... I don't remember. You know, hmm. I was I was under quarantine before quarantine was cool. Kind of like Grimm. Uh, you know, it was, was the self-quarantine. It was like, fuck you, I don't want to deal with you people. Some of us... Don't make me crazy. Some of us quarantineites have partners. Don't get all fancy. Anyway, this well, is... Well, I have one here. Okay, this is the dork table, reallibertymedia.com. Thanks, Grim. <laughs> Thanks, Grammy. You the bomb. Now, now Miss Mary is going to entertain you all with the coveted list. The list Ooh. of bots and bodies kept in an envelope under Funkin' Wagnalls in a mayonnaise jar since noon today. <laughs> Can, can I do Nobody it like knows Andrew from the... Gilligan's Island? <laughs> Let me entertain oh, you. Oh, no. Here we go. Let help. me make you smile. Help, help. We got a barman <laughs> at the very top <laughs> and a beetle close behind. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that shit. <laughs> wow. I, are, I could hey, do, Grim, are you insured? I are you insured for Merry Meltdowns? Or <laughs> can, can you actually have somebody sue you for us insulting their intelligence? <laughs> it's day infinity. <laughs> well, this is what this is what happens when you hi co- cowboy tech. When you're a co- I hope the voices are being very pleasant for your ears. <laughs> he has very sensitive ears, don't you know? Mary's a coronavirus I- denier. I know. I deny me. Bots and, and bodies. Yes. Hello. Bots and bodies. Grimmy. <laughs> Grimmy, the RLM god. <laughs> Don't you know? And if he wishes to, he could smite yeah. Corona, but he does not have lines. <laughs> but he will. One day. Eventually. Dun, dun, dun. We also got the lovely Moose Girl in the chitty chat, and Moosey <laughs> shared an awesome recipe for Indian Ooh. fry bread. I have a recipe, but it's for like making enough for to feed a hundred people. Yeah, I and got a I've recipe it too, but it's got nothing to do with bread. <laughs> what? I'm happy to have tickled him, Moosey. In any case. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There you go. The lovely Miss Kate is also here. Hi, Kate, down in Florida, where things are getting crazy. <laughs> well, you know, what do you expect when you got a state named Florida? <laughs> I also see Anti is here, who's Anti. up in his vitamin C. Better we be. We got some Asmodeus yeah. Asmo. Yeah. Oh, drink hot Mary drinks too. To watch. You guys are so lucky that I don't have video going on this because, man, mm. you would be so traumatized for life. Why? Are you <laughs> naked today, Miss Mary? Hmm. Am I going to make it? No, today? I said, are you I, naked? <laughs> am I under my clothes? <laughs> wow, I had to start wearing pants again soon. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now mental. Well, yeah, you know. Catch a sketch. It's, okay. It's Moving like on. those Bill Clinton Memorial boxer shorts I got one year to, you know, to keep my ankles warm in the wintertime. Ah, ah. Do you know that they still cannot confirm how many people got genital herpes during the Clinton administration? But moving along. Seven. I also see. Asmodeus Asmo is here as well as Charles Sidney, the lovely Psyche. Hello, honey. She's in the Hello, kitchen. Hello, honey. Here. How you doing? They're, they're in the we kitchen. Got the, in we the got a Dayom Van mm. Meter in the chat as well as a Doofus. <laughs> the Doofus is right in front of me. Are At we lined up in a particular order? I hope so. 
cool. That's I also duh. Think, he's being in huh? disguise. That's duh. That's duh being doofus? Yeah. Well, he's, know, duh and doofus are pretty much synonymous, aren't they? Trying to throw off the IRS. Ah, so I see how he's in here. we have very so figuring out who you are, <laughs> don't you know? So he's in here, and then they, they postponed it anyway. So don't worry, you got more time. Beetle, if they're out of masks, I've got some Halloween masks that you could wear. Wouldn't that be cool? You could just you could just show up at the store with the Halloween mask and say, I was out of the other kind. This works. But I'll make yeah. you a plaster you, of Paris mask for free. Oh, hey, <laughs> just come just to my be house. Sure to put a straw through there, okay? No, fuck the straw. Let's, let's play. But then you can't breathe. That's oh, the hey, whole but... point. Let's end this for you so you don't have to worry anymore. <laughs> Never I'm mind. not worrying. Silly human. <laughs> Worrying is such a waste of a, <laughs> your beautiful imagination. I Bye. know, you think. Well, continue. Java, 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 Dr. Two is here. As well as Meister Brow. Meister Brow. Oh, there's a message from Dolly Parton. Oh, I like Kenny Rogers. By the way, oh. RIP. Rock in, in paradise, oh. Kenny. Have fun, because there's lots of way cool people that are already there that I'm bet, I'll bet there's a hell of a jam session going in. Maybe in hell. I bet the one in heaven's all boring and shit. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Prince. Hey, wow. Prince is up there too, but not this Prince. I also. Wow. <laughs> I'll bet you guys are all going, do it in the Munchkin voice because the other one is just really retarded. Uh, I'm Rob starting to Lloyd wonder if you've here. got the coronavirus, or the mental t- part of it. <laughs> I do not have the 3 2 flu. <laughs> Only people yeah. in Kansas understand what the three two flu is. Okay. Because because Kansas had two kinds of beer. You could get three two beer that you could get at the grocery store, yeah. and then you had six point beer that you had to go to the liquor store. Although yeah. last year they decided no more of this three two stuff. So now what am I going to call it? I can't call it the three two flu anymore. I call it Corona. Corona. Okay, moving along. Wow, you've been moving all over. I know. It's you should be inside my mind. That Somebody catch you. Miss Mary. She's jumping around like a jumping bee tonight. Yeah, okay. and I ain't wearing a bra. Oh, Ooh, I had to put ouch. that out there, didn't I? <laughs> Hi, Rob. Hey, Rob. Wayne. You fire up the bubbler, <laughs> and I missed it. Uh-oh. He's firing up the bubbler. I also see Rome's is here. Hey, oh, Rome's, how you doing, huh? Rome's I'm a doctor sweet. and U.S. response. Nothing short of criminal. Oh, there's, you know, you can look at any, no two people are going to have the same opinion. You know why? No. Because no two people have the same asshole. Ooh. Unless they're Siamese twins and opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. So, wow. you always side with the opinion that is closest to your own. Oh. It's just the way it works. Mm. Trust no one is also here, as well as the lovely Miss Vanna White, the letter turner of the RLM gym. Closely followed by Weather Dorks, who is, I think, sniffing her backside, because that's what Weather Dorks do. That's what Weather Dorks do. Hi, Woodman. How are you, hun? Woodman, I know. Woodman. I know. He's the mighty Woodman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got a phantom. It's a phantom. Not the phantom. It's it. That's what this mystery coronavirus is. It's oh, an invisible oh, enemy. It's a phantom. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll have a minute or two to talk about that. If you ever finish saying hello to the bots and bots. Oh, I know. I, I hey, I still got a few minutes. I haven't enjoy yourself. Feel yet. free. Anti. Mikasa is to casa. Mikasa is to casa. <laughs> I can say that to you. <laughs> we got Bruce Dickinson in here. They call me Bruce. Hi, so nice. Bruce. Yeah. I have a I have a grand kitty named Bruce, mm. and then they found out that Ooh. Bruce was a female, so now they call it Bruce Caitlin. <laughs> My children are nuts. I wonder where they get it from. Chaskura is also here, as well as the cyborgian noodle. May you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness of it all. Ohio confirms coronavirus cases jumped 78 in one day. Deaths go from one to three. I wonder how many of those three 
actually had pre-existing conditions. Yeah, well, that's the part they leave out. How, oh, ma- yeah. how many of these? And did they people- die of yeah, coronavirus with or with it? With it, yeah. See. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Be afraid, everybody. Cower. Get under that table. Nuclear war is coming. Hide under the table. I'm telling you. No, that's only if everybody is forced to eat beans. Hey, maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe they're trying to get everybody down to their, all they have left in the pantry is beans. And then we'll blow ourselves up. Hey, you're giving away the secrets of Mexican propulsion. Stop it at once. Cease and desist, white girl. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> honey, honey, quick, kiss me before I blow. <laughs> wow. I don't Moving think along. so. Yeah, I just imagine <laughs> that's going to be a very lonely place to be on that fateful day when you're about uh, ready to explode. Everybody already is gone. They just know. I love the smell of methane in the mornings. Mm. Moving along. <laughs> the Hi, smell Dilla. of victory. <laughs> oh, the dork cakes is here too. Sorry, uh, hey, dork cakes. mental, you old scooch bastard. over, yeah. I scooched over. Yeah. Eman, we have Eman and and Siv, and there you are, Flasher, somebody way down my list. How'd you get? You're right above Frumpy. You and Frumpy and Frumpy work. You guys got something going on set? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. Grim reinstalled my uh, Flash somebody thing on Ice Chat now that I uninstalled. Ah, so for a, a few days there, I had to go in incognito. It's other names. Oh, I, I noticed yeah. your incognito stuff. It yep. was very neato. But my true identity has been reinstated. Thank you. Yay. You Yay. may all Back sleep to peacefully tonight knowing that my anonymous name has been reinstalled where it belongs. You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a Donald Trump moment, you know. There you go. I felt like and I did one, the evil laugh. One of those, he never does the evil laugh. I always wanted to be one of those pricks that thinks everything he thinks is important. That was fun. I'm going to scoot along now. <laughs> oh, okay. You okay. feel better? Now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like taking a dump, only less messy. A mental oh. dump of some kind or another. <laughs> You know, I hear there's some place where toilet paper is falling from the sky like manna from heaven. I'm thinking it's coming from a white cloud. What do you think? Where, <laughs> wherever Joe Biden is popular, there's plenty of toilet paper. Oh, good God. I'm telling yeah. you, hey, hey, mark my words. And when mark Trump wins words. the popular vote this time and the Electoral College gives it to Creepy Joe, just don't say I said so. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to say Flash predicted it. It's his fault. <laughs> Would Frumpy that be a... Frumpy, what, we that... also got Grama. I'm running short on I'm going to I'm going to uh, go over my my no, my not. record. That's what, what it is. What, yeah, yeah, your record, <laughs> but yeah. Grama. We got a JJ's 99 JJ's. I wonder if they have a shorter hey, toilet paper. Nice, hey. You know if they don't if they do, mm. I mean they got the kilt. They can always just no, 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 you'd have to wear that thing. No, you don't want to use that for Well, it would definitely keep the creases <sighs> in place, wouldn't it? That's what the terminating Klingon paper is for, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you people don't learn, do you? <laughs> Not very good. I'm telling you, de- deprivation is, the, is your best friend in the world. You just don't know it yet. Just wait. <laughs> You're Pink while we are rebooting. Um, Kiss. Hi, Kiss. How are you doing? I also see Papa Papa Pond Sauce as well as Sock Puppet. Hey, Sock. How you doing, honey? And looky there, we got a SLC Mike. Hey, Mike. How was the? How was your earthquake? I heard you had some shaking going on. Do you guys have some underground bunkers that maybe someone kind of accidentally on purpose went kablooey in them? Kablooey. Just just curious. Accidentally. Just curious. Can you tell I get most of my language from Looney Tunes? Probably ah, just part actually, of it. They One get most of from me, but that's okay. We also got Smataz. Super genius. And a holiest Roger ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. And 
Z Pick to round out the crew. Oh, what's this? Terrified package delivery employees are going to work sick. Really? Why? Why are they terrified? Wow. Why are they going to? Well, I guess, you know, anybody with some kind of mental imbalance or dis ease, yeah. there has to be that hyphen in there. Anybody with that that goes to Woik is going to work sick. So. Yeah. Well, isn't it at this time in life kind of cool to be a hypochondriac? You know, you get a lot of sympathy from women. And other guys feel superior to you. So it's kind of a win-win thing to whine about everything that hurts. Oh, my back. Oh, my nuts. Oh, my feet. Shit like that. Did you know who else is really enjoying this lockdown, this quarantine, this whatever? Besides me? Agrophobes, because oh, now yeah, they're normal. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're not. Who'd laugh at that? <laughs> yeah. I would. I think this whole fucking thing is a hoax. All of it. It's turning everyone into agrophobics. Everyone. No, it's not. Well, it, except me. No, it's not. There, there are. Uh, I've seen a link about some kids partying at the beach because they're, <laughs> they're. Whatever this virus is called, it's deniers. Deniers. Wait a minute. Every hoax has deniers. Haven't you noticed that? Now, two months ago, I think we were going to die from measles. We all needed measles vaccinations. And that, 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 now here we are, two months later, and boy, they were wrong. It was the, it was the coronavirus. <laughs> Ma, 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 uh, corona. Well, what, okay. I think I got the whole foundation of the show tonight is around basically what a fraud I believe this coronavirus crap to be. And not that people won't get sick and get dead. It's just not what you're being told. You're being told something and lied to at the same time. Part true, part story, like usual. Yeah. Look at the history. Yeah. 9 11 happened. Just didn't happen the way you got called it happened if you listen to the state. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Corona. Where's the bleach? I don't e know. E e alert, alert. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. Oh, I saw that. They had that hand sanitizer thing as an option in the store where I went today, yesterday. Yeah. And if you opt out, people. What, they're not going to shoot you because I walked back from where I you know, was. So some people take it more seriously than others. There you go. And I think if you're ill, that's give you a reason to take it serious. And if you're not ill, why would you take any of this crap as any kind of threat? Talk to me, Miss Mary. You must know something. Do I know something? Oh, make mm. something up so that I don't have to talk to myself for two hours. Uh, because, oh. yeah, uh, I called tonight's episode of Dork Table Witness Location Anyone. You know, remember the government witness location program when you snitch against the mafia and they give you a new name and a new place to live where nobody noticed you from the Bronx in Iowa? <laughs> You know? Never mind. Huh? 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 Were you... Are you reading or what? Join me in the show today, Miss Mary. I'm I'm, I'm with you in the show, but I'm responding to someone that responded to me on Twitter. Uh, fuck Twitter. And I Why thought, you, you know, you were doing... Uh, and I was listening to... Uh, do you, okay. Office. What's yeah. your Twitter thing about then, big baby? Well, I posted something because there was someone that bought out all of the toilet paper at some store <laughs> and they were... <laughs> Uh, Excuse me, loading all of these boxes uh, up into their truck, yeah. like the big boxes of it into their wow. truck and their trailer. Yeah. And people are yeah. complaining about it. And I said, hey, get after the business. The business could have put a limit on it, especially if you have a limited supply. And someone said, it's evil human nature. Couple is greedy and selfish and store wants money and also don't care. And so I'm responding. So spread the word that this store is. Uh, on this store and let everyone know that they put instant profit over long-term customer base. Mm. Well, yeah, but see, the other side of that is uh, telling people how much they can spend, quantities and limits and all that communist shit, so you can't win. 
Neither well, way you that you go. A, when you have a situation of supply and demand, like what's yeah. going on right now, yeah. and even in Little Podunk where I live, because I went into town yesterday and got some groceries, and uh, I didn't really need a whole heck of a lot, just milk and that, and um, I was going to get some eggs if they had eggs, but they had no eggs. I still have two and a half dozen eggs, but I thought, you know, if I can get a dozen eggs, eh, and if I can't, eh. But nowhere had milk. Nowhere. And it was stock day. They should have had the stock truck. Well, the stock truck was running late. I was not going to go back into town yeah. just to get a freaking gallon of milk. Right. So. So. But the farmer had to go into town anyway yesterday uh, evening. So I asked him, well, okay. if they have milk, finally, would you stop by the store and pick up? Some milk. Yeah. I don't need a gallon. Get a half gallon. Ooh. Well, apparently all that was left was gallons, so I don't know. <laughs> you, those are first world problems to have, by the way. Well, and that way, I mean, I can I can make soups and gravies and that, uh, well, know, whatever. You know this coro- Corona thing? The store, I need to, let me finish my thought process here. Because right. the store actually put signs up everywhere and that said... said no more than two. Oh, okay. Got it. You know, so no more than two dozen eggs, no more than two dozen or two gallons of milk, no more than of bread or what have you. Rationing. You know, and it yeah. was basically a due to limited supply and waiting on stock to be refilled, please be courteous to your fellow customers or to, you know, the those that live around you. And... uh don't be such a pig. Don't be such an inconsiderate pig. And so people were, you know, behaving mm-hmm. appropriately. Now there were some people. Apparently, um, the farmer's son was in the in the grocery store the other day when they were running out of milk, and he said someone tried to get two gallons of milk, and you know, it was either two half gallons or one gallon was all they. That was the limit they put on it, and. Um, the person at the register wouldn't ring up their second gallon. They had the the uh, carryout person take it back to the <laughs> carry case. Wow. And wow. when the customer looked at him and started growling, they said, you saw the signs. We need to make sure that we have enough for everyone. Don't be such a selfish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the signs. If you don't like it, go shop somewhere else. Go to Walmart. It's another 25 miles. Because apparently they really don't give a shit about those that want to just stock up, stockpile, whatever, you know, buy more than what they're trying to, you know, keep some kind of supply there. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, fine, you want to be that way? Go somewhere else and see how well you do. We don't need your business. And I don't have a problem with that. They're the business owner. They can make that choice. So, okay, I'm done. Oh, all right. I'm done. Are you sure? I think so. Mm. I hope so. I think you have the coronavirus. But then again, then again. Mentally. All the opinions expressed by me are not. Well, I think think there's two versions of this crap. There's the mental crap you get from believing it. And then if you're already ill, you're, you're already weak. There you go. Start panicking about a virus or a cold. You'll get it. So staying positive when the whole world around you is acting like a bunch of idiots is pretty hard. I will give it. Yeah, I will give it that. This game is designed to weaken us and make us all dependent on state. There you go. Yeah. Well, and that was one of the things. All those people on that thread were saying, well, the government needs to ration. No. The ration. community needs wow. to ration. The owner of the business needs to ration. Okay, well, and the, if people don't abide by the owner's uh, rationing, they but, they are free to go somewhere else. But before all that shit started with all this fucking corona crap, nobody was yep. needing to to worry about it. Supply lines were fine. So my version of this is the threat of all this crap. Oh De- yeah put out in the media and the internet and everybody's waffling around like a bunch of monkeys all dancing to a song. And here we go again. 
And this one's just more compelling than the, the last 29 before it. Yeah, Because well. this is nothing new. I mean, good God, they've been t- trying this on us for 30 solid years. They just finally figured out how to deliver the information to scare the whole fucking planet at one time. Got all the governments to say the same freaking song at the same fucking time. Or so we believe. Who? How do you know? Really? I think this was designed to do this. I think that it's doing exactly what whomever designed it wanted them to do because they wanted to <coughs> excuse me get people fearful keep people from and there's also two sides to that whole thing as well <coughs> excuse me i have a that swallow that i did as not working well with me in any case <laughs> um you know you can part of it is I get where, you know, some of the conspiracy theorists out there, some of the Q people are saying that that the reason that they're saying no more than 10 people in a group and whatever, whatever, is so that we don't have large gatherings so that the deep state can do a false flag by killing a bunch of people in a group setting. So I get I get that thing, but that's also a fear porn of its own. It's more of a soft cell fear porn. But the other stuff is like, be afraid, that person over there. That may have allergies. Be afraid of them. Oh, my God. If they don't have a Kleenex, lynch them. String them up. You know, it's it's two different kinds of fear porn. But no matter how you look at it, it's fear porn. And if people are going to sit there and even swallow just one little drippy drop of it, you're going to get all choked up mm-hmm. over this shit. And then you're going to start fear porn and everybody else because you're choked up on some kind of whatever. So stop it. Just but stop it. They've got Damn the whole, it. That's they've, my opinion. They've got the whole English-speaking population convinced at this point. Because uh, Cirque's family was over. It was eight of us here counting me today. Less than the ten limited by law, but that's how many that usually is, is the eight of us hang out. You know, sometimes the kids will stay behind, but they wanted to come out to the country today. So, let's see. They went to the grocery store and got everything they wanted to get. Made fresh bread and whatnot. Cake. Stuff like that. There you go. We had bananas. So, hmm. Denmark doesn't grow bananas, in case you didn't know. Yeah, I knew that. That's what How I do I know what you know? Underground You're a farmer. Hatch. You might you might think Denmark is like numero uno. Cause we could do anything like these other people think. It's just another bit of land. It's all this is. Small yes, population. But it depends too. on where it is in re, in relation to the equator as well. Oh, well, we're way the fuck off the equator. Yeah. So see. So we're coming up in here in, in June. We get damn near twenty hours of daylight for about a month, solid month before it starts back down again. And then in the winter time, it's dark. You get like eight hours of daylight if you're lucky. We're way the fuck up here on top. Well, not real far up, but close. You're up there. You're like close to the Arctic Circle and everything. But it's very mild where we are because uh, we're on this island bit and there's uh, mountains that kind of protect the area we're in from excess. They're really nice. Don't And uh, let, those last week we had like two or three days in a row of sunshine. So climate change worked out for me. Greta's fucking gone. I don't have to listen to that shit no more. Let's see what else. So now I'm going to figure out how I can make this corona thing work out for me. Because I I don't know anybody that's a victim of it. I only know what I read on the internet about it. And I've been doing this for a while now. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. All right. Well, I oh. never was one to go along with the group you know, in the first place. and But not just to not go along with the group, but because like this. It's just too coincidental that all these things fell perfectly in line so that this could be explained that way. Nah, we're being screwed. It's a long-term plan. 
nothing government does ever fucking works. So that's the illusion that we live under. It's the incompetent boobs that run government, blah, blah, blah. No, it's the game that we do play. is so it's disguised as other shit. You don't really know and that. Do you really want them competent? Do you really want them to be efficient in what they put forth? Because I'm there's part of me that goes, God dang, government is so freaking inefficient, and they're all a bunch of bozos. And yet, with the shit that comes out of there, if they were efficient at what they're, you know, those squiggles and lines on a piece of paper stuff... Good Lord, we would really be in trouble. Just saying. Yes, Miss Murray, and you have every right in which to say that as well. Can I have a glass, please, Miss? Uh, Can hmm. you have a glass? Yes, you may. Yes, my my dear wife just brought me the uh, bottle of Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Uh-oh. In, in the honor of the coronavirus, I'm going to fight my share of the coronavirus through the show by drinking shots of Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Triple blended or something. Triple distilled. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, in other words, you're going to get sexed while we're on the radio, huh? For old times' sake. You know, and and as I'll take one for the team for the coronavirus. For all of you who are afraid of this virus, I'm drinking to the virus to get rid of it. Goodbye, virus. Ah, ah! I see what you're doing. You're using that green alcohol to kill the virus. Well, you kill know, the virus. The funny part about it is, I I read people making jokes about natural remedy dealing with this virus as though it wasn't possible. <laughs> I, I was hoping they were joking, but mm. anyway, they were making bread in the kitchen, so I left and never really figured it out. But, we, you know, we all have opinions to hear, little Missy. You don't have yours? No, you don't, because if you did, then it would become yours. Oh, but, you're going to be funny now. It's okay, mine. stop stop being funny. And, he, and even if I uh-huh, share my uh-huh. opinion, it's yeah. still mine. I know that. That's that's why we do this on the dork table. It's uh-huh. remember it's me Flash. Hello. 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 Boy, have you Hello. been have you been getting slapped around by reality lately, little missy? Hmm? No, I'm I'm mm, Are people I'm, being a pain I'm in the ball? And I'm thinking someone needs to give me one of those ball, bowling balls that, yeah. or bowling pins that they're juggling so I can go around and start wonking people on the head with them. Well, why aren't you convinced personally that this is everything that we're being told it is? Because, number one, whenever someone starts going, be afraid, be afraid, we need to get a vaccine. I mean, number one, when I hear, be afraid, be afraid, I got a little warning light that starts going on and flashing. What the hell? I thought I knew what to be afraid of and what not to be afraid of. Mm. And I usually judge that by what I am dealing with at the current time. Mm. That's that's how I judge whether Mm. I'm afraid or not. And yet, all of a sudden, I'm supposed to be afraid of this invisible thing that may not even be, well, depends on who you listen to, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of them that say that viruses are not living organisms per se. Mm-hmm. You know, they are, you know, they're, they must have a host in order to live, just ah. like viruses cannot survive on like a stainless steel surface or stuff or on paper, uh, you know, because right now I guess that's why they want to get rid of paper money because there's viruses. Uh, oh, where, <laughs> were you, where were you when it was in the news? How many $20 bills are covered in cocaine? Cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. How, where were you when they were <laughs> saying every single dollar bill in the country at one time or another has been in a stripper's G-string? I mean, come on. Ooh. But now Slap. you're concerned that it's sharing viruses? Uh, now you you're concerned. Wow, you you must be a fun first date. I'll bet I am. 
Damn. Hey, Wayne. <laughs> Actually, he really enjoyed our first date because I invited him over. I was making zucchini muffins, and I sent him home with, with – eight muffins and only four of them made it to his house <laughs> <laughs> that's good yeah there's this <laughs> there is something magical about you femme fetals that can bake you are you are a, a unique group yes we are yeah and i wasn't even looking for any of that just life just trips me into shit you know hey wow so here I am, not afraid. I'm in the right age. I've got the cold at the end of winter that I usually have. Raspy voice, a little stuff up in the head. But all this virus, get a shot nonsense. Are you out of your fucking minds? It's, it, to me, all right. Now, the bottom line to me is it's kind of embarrassing that at my age, I, I'm seeing my peers cower to a fear. Because they're in bad health. And I've learned over the last couple, eight, ten years that, you know, the key to um, good health is what you eat and what you put in you. So, there you go. It's all, it's all based on that, period. No matter how you explain it, you know, if you're doing shit, if you're eating shit food, you're going to get shit results. Well, it's... It's like that old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Sometimes. Depends on what you're preventing, because we're, we're misled in some ways about some of the things we do that really don't help us, they hurt us, but we, we're told they help us, so that we'll believe that. And it makes sense that they help us, but mm, not really. Like, uh, what's that shit called? When you get that soap, the bacterial soap or whatever it is. The antibacterial. What the fuck would you want to use that for? How do you how do you protect yourself from the sicknesses if you wash away all the all the bacteria that's on you away all at once? What are you crazy? You need a defense. Yeah, because you've, you've got a lot more beneficial bacteria on you than you do harmful. That's why yeah. a lot of people that you know, or more along the natural lines or the common sense lines, just wash your hands with soap and water. Yeah, Period. because being over clean, in a sense, is just as dangerous on a biological thing as the opposite. Being too dirty will give you illness. Well, being too clean will bring you the same result. There's a balance line. You know, that's why when we were little, we grew up playing outside. We got all those illnesses and built a... Uh, uh, an immunity to regaining these things. They never hit us again. And city people don't, I, and I was a city people, but I had that, my father wasn't, and my mother grew up in another country where uh, she was open to in, you know, to new input because she didn't have the experience of living how she lived in America. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, you know, England was way different in the fifties than it than it is now. <laughs> say, and America is different because when my mom lived there, it was she was the weirdo that was from England in America. You know, it was like whoa. Mm. Well, flight mm. had just become that was the first year I think fifty seven or whatever was the first year there where they had flights open to the public from uh, Europe to, or the UK at the time, to California. Otherwise, you had to take the boat. Oh. Oh, I didn't know it was, wow. That really wasn't that long ago. No, that's what I mean is people have been so misinformed about it, so many big things like uh I think there was like uh, Tran TWA Trans World Airlines was the only uh -huh. airline available when my mom came from London to California, and when it was London, New York, and you know, probably to California from New York. That's the way I did it every time. They always stopped somebody. You can't take a plane from um, England to L.A. Run out of fuel. True. I, at least that's the rumor I have heard. I've never flown a plane, but I have flown in planes or been told I was flown in a plane and I came to in another country, so they were probably right. 
Ah, well, and how old were you? Which time? First time. That I went to England, I think it was mm-hmm. 29, 28, 29, oh. something like that. It was uh, the year of the earthquake in San Francisco. I think it was 89. Ah. Might have been 88. I forget over the years. But uh, the ball teams were playing. It was Oakland against San Francisco. And uh, back in the bar days, so I was hanging out at a bar. And just like the third or fourth pitch into the game and the room started shaking, <laughs> it was wild. Man. And I'm curious, so I go outside. And I'm watching the church on the corner. It's this Russian church. They got those pointed steeple things at the top. Uh huh. Twenty, I think it's Twenty Fifth Avenue or Twenty Sixth Avenue in Erie. And uh, I'm sitting out there, and the cars are, or I'm standing there, but I'm watching the cars are bouncing off the fucking pavement. It was just the most amazing thing. The bartender was hugging the doorway of the bar in terror. And I'm like walking around, and she's yelling at me to stop it. <laughs> Why? Well, it's going to happen. And then, when it did stop, I go right to the damn payphone and call my mom and dad because uh, they uh, had just made arrangements for me to go visit them for two weeks from that point. So I had mm-hmm. to tell them, the phones are going to go out any minute now, I, but, but we'll have a few minutes left here. This is an earthquake. I'm okay. I'll be there in two weeks. It's like one of my fondest memories of being involved in something so tragic because I had such good shit come out of it. Well, see, and that's that's just like, okay, Mount St. Helens was a bad ordeal, you know, and it blew up, and I don't remember how many people were killed during it, and it just totally devastated the landscape around the, the hmm. volcano, mountain, whatever you wish to call it. But... <clears throat> Look at pictures of it now, and things are coming back, and it's beautiful, and you just need to, people just need to understand that nature's a hell of a lot bigger than we are. Oh, man, isn't that the truth? And we are not separate from nature. We are part of nature, and when nature decides to have a conniption fit, be it um, coronavirus or an earthquake or... A giant meteor, you know, when nature decides to have a conniption, we really have very little say about it. That's why, you know, if if you're worried about sickness, the, number one, if you're worried about sickness, you are more likely to get sick than someone that's not worried about it. Oh, right. Because you're vibrating Boom. in that zone of fear. Ta-da! And there's only a few of us that believe that, though, man. It's very limited. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. But you're right. To me, I believe that. I think that controlling the wavelength that you're on is something you have to learn how to do. Yeah. And to do it is just mental decisions to not be in the fucked up mess that you may be in. You cannot be in it if you don't want to be in it. But a lot of people like the fucked up mess they're in so they can blame somebody and go, hey, you fucker, fucky fuck fucker, look what you do. <laughs> I know. It's always somebody else's fault. You know, it's like blame China, blame, blame. But don't you blame China because if you call it a Chinese virus, then, then you're being racist. Well, if I go to eat at a Chinese restaurant and eat Chinese food... Am I being racist? <laughs> I How about if so. I go to a Mexican place and eat Mexican food? Or an Italian restaurant? Ooh, yeah. they might send the mafioso after me for calling it an Italian restaurant, yeah. eating Italian food. You're being, Good Lord. You're being racist. And that's I and, know. You know I being, am. being racist stuff is the most... It, when I sit down and think it through about like my wife does it because she's not racist she's just identifying other people i mean how do you talk about other countries if you don't identify the country and if the person listening can be all sensitive in the butt and go oh you call them jews kikes huh you fucking racist 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Or not? Yeah. Well, yeah. And so yeah. you could just not be con- all that conditioned by the names in the first place and just take people for the people they are. And some people are stuck with labels that are just unforgettable, like Beaner, Nigger, Spick, Kike, Gook, all these little fancy little tags we've given each other over a lifetime. <laughs> and and when I sit down and, and think it through, it's all just a load of shit because it's just the country that owns your fucking paperwork and nothing more. You might be in a culture and you might be in a tribe and all that, but Bottom line is, if you're claiming a, a country, it's because they own you, not because you own shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny to me. But that's just me. Okay, and speaking of they own you, I'm going to do this one from mine that I had to, I had to share. Did you know, here in the United States, 125 years ago, you did not have to ask permission from the government to collect rainwater, go fishing, own property, start a business, renovate your home, build a home, use a transportation vehicle. Yeah, post that in the RLM. AKA driving. Put that in RLM. <laughs> okay. Or did to, you? To uh, get married, to hunt, um, own a weapon. Grow food on your own property or set up a lemonade stand. You can do virtually nothing without paying for the government's permission first. Lucky AKA taxes, a.k.a. registration fees. There you go. I'll get that spit out. Because basically you live on a tax farm as free-range humans. Moo. I was doing my impression of a free range human. Because, <laughs> hey, when you find out what a human is legally defined as, it's just fucking insulting to me, but everybody else, they're okay with it. I find it like, hey, wait a minute. I don't think so, Bosco. But when you put us in a collective, they, they might be right. <laughs> yeah. Look up the definition of human legally and see what it means. It will not please you unless, of course, you are one. Huh. Well, hmm. just for that. Well, when I hear, when I think of that word monster, I don't think of a good thing. I, I've been, you know, movie-rised over the years. And monsters are like Frankenstein, and Dracula, you know, Ted Kennedy, people that'll hurt you, Hill Dog, you know. Monsters, not me. I can hurt anyone. I'm just a. I just rude with my words, but I don't. You know, I don't go around slapping people with bayonets and guns and shit. Mm. But you okay, know, I am. In, in I'm looking movies, up the word uman. Yeah, it's horrible. In the movies, they they do that all the time for entertainment. They hunt people, hunt them for fun and entertainment. Okay, this one says that um, they are members of a species Homo sapiens, which means complete expulsion or extraction from his or her mother. That that meant, okay, that's born alive. Mm. Excuse me. Um, okay. Mm. Well, that's not. I have no idea. Is that? I'm. Yeah. What is human trafficking? Uh, federal law. Uh, legal definition of a human. Oh. Okay, there it is. Legal definition of a human being is a monster? Hmm. Yeah, told you. Okay, so. You didn't know that. Um, I've I've heard that before. Oh, yeah. But technically, so when people talk about this crap about animal rights, I, I've cringed ever since I first heard it. Because, well, for one... I don't believe rights are something that some government has to protect or grant or anything. I either got them or I don't. And I think by the life that I live and the life that I've had, my rights are just as good as anybody else's. Okay, this is according to Ballantine's Law Dictionary. Ah, the Law Dictionary. I have no freaking clue who Ballantine is. I know Webster. So there. 
You want and to put a link in the notes? To, well, hey, hey. According to Ballantine's Law Dictionary, and I will go ahead yes. and copy that and put it in the You want it in the notes. In the chitty chat. For the notes or not. Um, Help me here. There we go. Because I interrupted you so I could find out. Okay. Do you want it so, in there? Uh, human yeah. being, see she monster. Does. Monster is a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. A monster has no inheritable blood and cannot be heir to any land. Who is this Ballantine, and why did this Ballantine get to make the definition? That's what I want to know. Okay, it goes on to say, a person will then go on to say that this is evidence of something like a New World Order plot to control people through legal means, sometimes in association with our, or with old, our flags have got gold trim, therefore admirals are in charge of us types of arguments. The problem here is, as this person thinks it, um, is that most people reading this think, ah, so these evil lawyers and New World Ordists are saying that all humans are monsters legally. But that doesn't appear to be how the, it's working. Firstly, saying that the dictionary is defining humans as the same definition as monster creates a logical contradiction. Because the term monster is defined as a human being that is not or that has been radically deformed. Therefore, the definition of human being cannot be monster. So, what they think has happened here is that the definition of human is more or less obvious and that anyone looking up human being is being referred to the entry on monster because it's a qualification or an exception to the definition of human being. Right. In fact, not having seen the actual page, I'm tempted to wonder if the dictionary defines human being in a sensible way and then says something like, see, monster, as in also for more information and qualifications. So see the entry on monster, a type of human being, but that has been lost in the conspiracy talk on the legal definition of human being. So that's according to Nick Dan, N-Y-G-D-A-N. So whatever. Now, okay, but is that opinion? See, everything is, that's what I mean about everything is opinion. See, I think it's all interpretation. I say that How myself. You uh, shit? Okay, we're we're agreeing for a change. I like that. You know, I'd, I whoops. I know some human beings that I consider monsters. Shitler is one of them. <laughs> I just there's just something uh, about that creature that just makes me wish to call it a creature, yeah. not a human. Yeah. But I think my reasoning for that is because that creature has, through its own will, done very despicable, very diabolical things and not had an ounce of regret over any of it. Why to should me, she? That makes it a monster. Why should she regret? What, what did she ever do to you, you big baby? I know. I'm such a big old, Tony, big old meanie poo poo head. That's yeah. what I am. Well, Bill wasn't cheating on you, you selfish fuck. It was her. I know. <laughs> how how cold-blooded are you, Mary? Don't don't you feel bad for the first lady being cheated with a Jew? <laughs> I don't know. A young spitter Jew. I mean, how convenient for the Democratic Party, I'm telling you. <sighs> See, all these things that were told that happened, they may happen. For all I know, but they're just so perfect for the the shit that they talk about at the time to distract you from what's really going on. Like right now, you know what's really going on legally, like the last week? While what? everybody's dying of this corona fucking virus. <laughs> Con yes. Congress. Yes. Corona's hanging out with them while they're passing to the great beyond. Congress extended the freaking Patriot Act for the next 77 days from the time that they did this, which was within the last couple of days. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah. instead of loosening up the reins while you're in a lockdown situation, they've tightened the chains around your throat while you're being stepped on. And it's all voluntary at this point, but a lot of people think it's mandatory. It ain't yet. When it gets mandatory, they'll have 
they might not have enough manpower to really do a whole lot, but it'll put a dent in, in the public, I think. It'll scare yeah, enough. Yeah. That's that's one of those things where a lot of people don't realize it's we are we are doing it to ourselves. You know, they're they're saying, well, the government said, well, the government didn't say shit because government's a fictional entity. Someone in the name of government or mind control, if you look up the <laughs> etymology of yep. the word, yep. someone in the name of mind control said, you really should self quarantine. You really shouldn't get into groups larger than 10 people. And I've seen shit out there of people, you know, how to report groups larger than 10 people. What the actual, you know, we wouldn't have a problem if people wouldn't fall for this and then start being the little Nazi enforcers of the mind control system. You know, stop Stop going, ooh, ooh, that mind control person over there. They they told me that you shouldn't have that many people. So I'm telling I.D. Berta, you're in big trouble now. Yeah, right. Ugh. Ugh. Makes me crazy. Crazy, crazy. crazy. I've all, I'm already crazy, but makes no, me crazier. Well, that's easy to say. I just think we're on the uh, unpopular side of the uh, of the fight, whatever fight there is here, it shouldn't be a fight. It should be a unity thing. This should should have been handled like normal. You know, oh, you could get ill from this thing. Come in if you're worried, and you know, we'll see you. No, they didn't do that. They panicked people. Well, and yeah, they, they pushed the panic button because they knew the pan people were ripe for the picking. Well, they panicked them with that two weeks of being unemployed. Thing and locked down, and there was oh, yeah. never they don't they don't have the manpower to do a thing like that nationally. Only some some areas would be easier than others, depending on how they're built. But well, if you look at the logistics, if yeah, you just waited for the system that works yeah. under the guise of government, yeah. aka mind control, yeah. they cannot do this. So they I don't know. terrorize and scare everyone else and say, you're going to have to police yourselves. Oh, now we're all police officers. Ooh, we're all law enforcement officers without the shiny badge. A lot of us have guns, well, but without the shiny badge. Look at how seriously that people take information over physical reality. You know, or I don't know anybody so far to date, that can prove that this thing even exists. They're just telling me it does. Okay, yeah, that's me. And I've fallen the age victim thing and everything, Mary and I. Mm. Well, it's I don't know anyone that has it. Yeah, but even if I did, I, I don't... I think what I've learned from, like, Larry and you over the years in the Internet... I don't think I'd be afraid to, uh, I just follow up whatever the natural remedy to that particular illness would be and just go from there. And it's already pretty much, the, uh, what do you call it, maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. It's no different than owning a car. You take it in for regular oil changes. Do you rotate the tires occasionally? Do you get, you know, get your fluid levels checked? All that other fun stuff. It's no different. That's a me mechanical. This is just a flesh suit mechanical. Yeah, pretty much. Depends on how you look at it. And then we're all conned into this rock fill of medicine as soon as they can get us, I think. And the sooner that you learn what rock fill of medicine truly is, the better quality of life you can live using the shit that's already here with before Big Pharma came and fucked it all up. Yeah. Well, that's... I, and some of that is because John Rockefeller, daddy, yeah. way down John the road. John D., yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, he couldn't make a living as a snake oil sale, salesman. He kept getting kicked out of communities. And then he finally found a place where he had enough underlings that would do his dirty work for him. So he amassed a lot of money at the expense of a lot of other people, killed an awful lot of people, not directly, but through his edicts he did. 
And then after he had this massive amount of money, he thought, I'm going to get after all of you natural remedy salespeople because I couldn't pull off the scam trying to sell a natural remedy. So I'm going to make all natural remedies seem like scams and I'm going to make them illegal if it's the last thing I do. Well, they're still doing it. They're still doing it. I have yet, and I've listened to some. I didn't listen today or yesterday, but I've listened to a lot of the White House updates, you know, status report shit, mm. and not a damn thing mm. about vitamin C. Not a damn thing. Uh, well, and they're using vitamin C IVs. Mm. Well, whatever, to, whatever this is, it's a rerun of an old story. So you believe whatever you like. That's the way I live. If you can, you know, if you can find a reason to be afraid of all this and still be happy with that decision, well, good luck. Yeah. Well. It just seems like the government playing their little government games on us one more time. Because uh, two months ago, I swear it was the measles who was going to kill me and. I was laughing at that and taking an ass whooping on, on the chat because I wouldn't take measles serious. But you could get sick and, well, maybe, so what? I could get hit by a fucking truck. See what, you know, we'll just take it as it comes. Yeah, well, if ifs and buts were bare and nuts. Then we'd all have a bucket of posies. Because I have mm-hmm. no fucking idea where you were coming from, Miss Beer and Nuts. Anyway, what are you researching? Make it make it good, well, damn it. <laughs> I'm I'm looking up the etymology of government. <laughs> are you being a big old brain surgeon? And give me I'm being a big old meanie poo poo head. Good. And give me link. And if note. we all had beer and nuts, oh. we would all have the three two flu. Mm. Because there's some people that just don't realize you don't need to drink all your beer at once. And I thank know you, this Grim. because I was there at one time. Yeah, because uh, in the notes I copy and pasted something, but in the notes the letters are huge, so I, I had to write Grim about it. And you know what he said? Ah. He said if it's relevant, leave it in there. So I think he's got a trick up his sleeve to make it all fit. See? Mm-hmm. But well, we have a show we're doing. Did you know that? <laughs> We have a show. This is the Dork Table Podcast live. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know where I am? You're in Denmark. You know where you are? In the middle of flyover country. Not in Denmark. Not in Denmark. Okay, That's right. So something weird strikes me, and that is that beyond all this government shit and all this crap we're hearing over the interwebs, right? Mm-hmm. We still have the freedom of association on the internet world, right? Uh-huh. So, now, of course, we've all been trained to be afraid that we're being watched. <laughs> Ooh, being afraid. Scary monsters are out there. But me and you are doing a radio podcast, so, wow, <laughs> I'm afraid of that. They're going to hear my version of their bullshit. Now, Mm -hmm. according to the writing, we were expected, and the people that will believe us are so minuscule that it's never going to change the way that the masses look at the game. (laughs) This game is, it is the ultimate fucking three-card money, and the victims that get sucked into it the worst are the ones that protect it to the death. And I'm laughing out of, wow, I don't know what to make of that. Anymore. And it's like, is it sad or is it just, it's a necessary part of the game for it to have uh, support. You, you know, there's support for Joe Biden, a president, right? Yeah, I I see that. And every time I see that, I, I, I understand. I get dizzy shaking right? my head. But what do you, okay, let me ask you, what have you read? Because it, I laugh when I read this stuff, but these guys are they're mental. <laughs> guys and gals okay. or whatever. <laughs> like attracts like. That pretty much says it all. Well, yeah, but I've read stuff from people that'll say, uh, 
well, I'd rather have Biden than Trump. And my question has always been, what's the fucking difference? <laughs> it's all the same shit. You're not, you're not getting Biden or Trump. You're just getting some used car salesman in a three thousand dollar suit and a Rolex telling you that you're, you know, you've got a place in line. <laughs> Come take your place, baby. <laughs> I'll drill you next. <laughs> oh, baby. That's what I hear. I don't. I, other people hear different things, I suppose, Miss Mary. I cannot take the political world serious. <laughs> they just <laughs> make me laugh. When I think about the shit they promise, while they steal every fucking thing that isn't bolted down to something else, and they try to steal that too, but they usually get caught, so they back up. But these fucking people have nerve, beyond nerve, whatever... Whatever common decency is, they wouldn't know it if it slapped them in the head. You know, the, uh, <laughs> the thing that they were selling their stock <laughs> in certain kind of companies when they got the briefing on the coronavirus scare. <laughs> so, Well, and you know what's crazy about that? I mean, Martha Stewart went to jail for doing basically the same thing. But there's this fun little stipulation that I think they – which is why they're getting away with it. While Congress is in session, you cannot arrest them. That's in the Constitution. While Congress is in session, they are protected from arrest. But once Congress is no longer in session, <laughs> it's a free-for-all. Why do you think they're dragging their heels on stimulus? And I mean, besides the fact that they're trying to shove all kinds of other pork barrel nonsense in there, but... Well, doesn't it strike you that maybe the illusion has gotten so huge that they can't they can't really come up with stories and w ways to make it continue without it looking completely stupid? I mean, they're already in trillions and trillions. Now they're going to loan the banks a trillion dollars a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From yeah, where? Which is basically, guess what? Wh where, where does We're going to totally tank. The yeah. interest on trillions a day is astronomical in itself, and they're giving well, it—they're giving it to banks that make money. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, you know, what? People just—people are. I, I'm mm -hmm. seeing some people are actually starting to notice this and go, "Hey, mm -hmm. hey, wait a minute." <laughs> they should have done that 106 years ago, but they didn't. Well, they should have, but, you know, back then people were busy minding their own business and hmm. taking care of their own and doing their own thing, and they and really didn't think that up. much about yeah. government. But being stand-up and not, not being deceitful in your own life will give you the idea that the other guy is not the big thief that he truly is. <laughs> it's a matter of interpretation, as you said earlier, dear. Yeah. You know, your thief is my monster is somebody else's best friend. You know, just, well, it's just, you know, like way back in the World Truth days when you kept getting called a troll. It's like, <laughs> what's, what's your definition of a troll? Anyone that doesn't agree with you? Okay, I get that then. Yeah, that. And I was There's a lots of people that yeah. I thought were trolls. And you I was know, just and super I kept hacker. telling them, you know, your bridge, you left it. You need to go back to your bridge. I know, but, but I was so talented and a super hacker at the same time. Yeah, you are a super hacker. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Mr. Dangerous, Danger Will Robinson, I pushed a button. Now I can't do shit. Codemaster, I swear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I mean is the illusion of the Internet is enough for me to doubt because of the pranks and shit I've had pulled on me on the Internet. So, for one, mm -hmm. I know I know you can fuck people up just by printing shit about them on the Internet. So, beyond all that, what matters? And I come up with things like, oh, religion, education, and politics. And all three of those things have been misrepresented to me for my entire life on Earth. All of it. I cannot find anything in my life that I can look back on and say, that's based on the truth. Except maybe 
you live in the moment as much of the time as you possibly can. <laughs> Everything else is bullshit. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. But I got paperwork yeah. to prove shit, you know, and I've got licenses so that I can do this, and <laughs> and people yeah. do not. They do not see the complete monster control issue they have with authority. They think that that is how it should be. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's from years hmm. of indoctrination. It wow. didn't happen overnight. Hmm. And I tell you what, trying to fix it, yeah. if you don't you know, give it a little bit of time to try and fix it, you don't have to give it as much time as it took to get us here, but definitely need to do it in steps, or it's going to be like ripping a Band-Aid off of an arm, and the Band-Aid, you know, this, there is no, like, padding over the owie. The Band-Aid is stuck to the owie, too, and you just rip that bad boy off. It's going to hurt like mother pus. Well, so, what would the Godfather do, Miss Mary? You know, you're overextended to the Godfather, and you owe him a lot of money. Okay, and he comes to your house and he says, you owe me a lot of money. And I've come here to get my, my money. What do you say to the godfather at that point? It's when you say, okay, the house is yours. And then he still shoots you because he says, well, the house was mine anyway, but since well, you gave it to me, I'm going to shoot you right. too. Now, if enough of us are living in the fear of all of these threats that could possibly happen, you know, you could get ill from this thing they've been leashed on you. Okay. Possibly. Sure. Uh, you could get hit by an airplane toilet seat. It could happen. It's not likely. Yeah. You know, a, a bear could maul you at a mall. <laughs> a bear mall in Alaska. Oh. You know, where all the bears hang out. I got mauled out. by a bear yeah. at a bear mall. A bear mall. Mm. Uh, yeah. The uh, snow bear mall up in uh, Fairbanks, Alaska. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I see. Now we're it, just. It could happen. Okay. But look at how long we've lived and how many of these ends of the worlds that we've seen. I remember my first end of the world going back to 1971. I don't remember the details about it, but I remember when I was that age hearing people, grownups, end of the world. What? And here I am, all these years now, I'm the old guy. Hearing all these young people tell me about the end of the world. <laughs> and I ah. keep waking up, Mary. It's very strange. I don't there know. you go. Why? Why does it defy me like this? I don't know. Do you, do you think I'm so... Emmett. Am I so unattractive even the coronavirus doesn't want me? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Well, what? what? <laughs> well. Talk about butt ugly, sir. You, sir. <laughs> you, sir, are so ugly, even viruses won't infect you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, 20 Sorry. years down the road, instead of saying, oh, damn, that person must have gotten lost in an ugly, fo ugly stick forest or something, mm. you know, instead of saying that, people are going to say, He's so ugly, even the virus wouldn't go near. Oh, well, you tested <laughs> positive for corona. Oh, you know what I've come to understand, too, about this whole thing? And it's so... Trying to respond back is the part that gets me in trouble, but I'm going to try it one more time, right? The tests mm -hmm. that are available that they're giving people to test for this coronavirus. Okay. Here's the part about the coronavirus that they don't tell every Tom, Dick, and Harry that reads all the shit. Coronavirus is a component in these other viruses. Uh, there's a big family of right. coronavirus. It, okay. That's why this one's called the novel one. Oh, I think it's right. more of a short story. They're trying to make it a novel, but uh, go ahead. But I'm a lame, I'm a lame dork, Miss Mary, and even I know. Wait a minute, you know, if if your if your car's leaking oil. <laughs> You know, follow the trail. If it leads to your car, well, it could be you leaking the oil, but hey, look underneath. See what's going on. Yeah. So, well, see where you blew a seal. Yeah, well, then take them to the zoo after that. But, uh. 
<laughs> Never mind. I, 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 oh Lord! See, it, That's, yeah. See, to me, it's just so many times I've been through. But two months ago, it was measles I was going to die from. And now we're wait a minute. And what happened to climate change? Wait a minute. What happened to climate cooling? Wait, what before that? Climate heating. Before what happened that, to the Hong Kong protests? Oh yeah, all those protesters got the coronavirus. Flu. Wait a minute. What happened to Zika? Hey man. And Ebola. There's. I'm have telling. Have you noticed? You. They all have a uh, Corona, Zika, Ebola. Ooh. No, but you know what I have noticed is that What's more that? people are falling for this this one than ever before. That's because they got worn down. Well, it's I like, think thirty. 30- oh man, it's another one. Oh man, it's another yes. one. Oh wait, this one's gonna kill us all. We're all gonna die this is eventually. Thirtieth one in a row every year. Yeah. For thirty years. Well, you know, it's the hundredth monkey. Only this is the thirtieth <sighs> virus. Whatever. Man. Well, and we've been talking about this shit for a couple of weeks on the internet, and still nobody's dead. Not from this. Hmm. I want to see victims, people. Well, and there you know? there was an article I saw earlier today about um, doctors over in Italy are basically saying 99% of all of the deaths incurred over in Italy were of people that had pre-existing conditions. So, you know, they're saying, look at the numbers in Italy. Well, you know... Maybe so the this Pope is an accelerator. Right. I don't know. Or perhaps this is some form of an accelerator where if you're already ill, it nails you quickly. Because I remember uh, after surgery how weak I felt. And it's not a good place to be. So if you're that ill and you get slapped hard again, your yeah. chances of recovery are zero. That's the whole point. But... I don't think that what they're doing is strong enough to make everybody ill. It's just getting the weak ones. Well, young ones are dying. Uh, no. Now Cirque says young ones are dying in Norway. Good luck. Well, it was nice knowing you, Miss Mary. I'm having another shot. Here on the dork table. Because I, I don't wonder. I wonder how many inoculations... Hmm. In That's Norway, the, they there, have. There you go. I don't flu shots. Fuck. All these things are uh, working against us, but they get people get told they help, but they don't. Uh, I listen, just remember each day in America, six hundred eighty-five people on average die due to medical error each day in the United States. Totally, and. There's other people that talk about these things way better than I do, like Clint Richardson over at UCY. So if you've got your you know browser open, type it in UCY and go see what Clint Richardson's got to say. It might be what you want to know. Yeah. Well, we're not. Uh, we are a group of very bizarros. Some people believe certain things to extremes, but. The weird part is that they're all here. You know, the chatters that I'm talking about. There's no common link between everybody, but except that that liberty concept that hang, that lingers in the background. Because there's a lot of anarchist-minded folk. If you, the way I see that is just people that would prefer to not have a ruler. Then you're an anarchist-minded person. There you go. Accepting you have a ruler does not make you not anarchist. It just makes you living in the physical world and and seeing it. It's not a crime. It's pointless to me, and it might be a fiction to me, but to the real world it's there. So, you know, if you're in the game, play it. See, and that's the thing. You know, just because I think something's a bunch of bullshit, just because I think it's a massive lie, if someone else is telling it and they believe it's true, then it is true for them. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I'm just stating what my mind is. And Circle disagree with me about shit and say so. Ah. But huh, I've got my own opinion. I don't need my wife to define my opinion for me. 
They just don't stop her from, you know, like some people will insist that you agree with them. And she just rolls her eyes when I say things that make her laugh. Well, if you made her giggle, that's what counts. Yeah, but see, using that as a way to do it is borderline crazy. <laughs> the round globe, because nobody really knows what I think. They they know what I say. But to, uh, oh, yeah. how do you prove what I think? Eh? I could tell you all day and all night. I don't believe the world is round. But it, deep down inside, I could be thinking to myself, ah, but it probably is. But not say that part out loud. And nobody ever hears that part. But, you know. <laughs> well. It's how we are. We're human. I think human. the world is flat and round. Because it's flat where I'm at. I don't know. I just know and that. Yet when I spin in a circle, I see a horizon all the way around. So therefore, flat and round. Okay. And then I'm dizzy. <laughs> but I'm just making a point of disagreeing with the common uh, message from the state, the government, the authority, whatever diseased mental fuck you're dealing with. These fuckers got guns and they got rules. And they're not willing. You know, they're willing to lock you up or shoot you if you don't obey. Now, I don't think it's that bad here. It might be, but I'm not a Danish citizen, so hmm. I bet I find ways around all their problems. I don't know. You could be dangerous to the control mechanism if you think for yourself. Well, yeah, but I don't have to. That's That wasn't part of... See, I didn't come here for the politics, so I've just got to... Uh, Get along good enough with my partner to deal with it. Whatever happens. And she's already told me what she's going to do. So we're cool. Yeah. No drama. No panic. Oh, I'm going to get this virus and die. Blah, blah, blah. No, just one sentence or two and that was that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, everybody else is on meltdown. and Now people are getting sick and they think it could be this virus thing. Who knows? The reason they're getting sick is because they're listening to the fear porn and opening up the frequency mm. to get sick. Mm. Period. I believe My that. Opinion. I I would. Yeah, Larry. Larry will talk about stuff like that too. You know that me me and Rob got Larry Woods uh, his own show. Yeah, it's I called, saw that. Yeah, dropping a coil, and that's Larry and Rob more than me. I'm just. I just have a little fun with these guys, but they they know a lot of stuff about electric. And it seems, if I'm correct, that Larry is going to guide Rob Works through the uh, the whole concept of idea to a finished coil, so he can build his own. And yep. they're doing it live on the radio, and it's it's like some it's like a story that's coming together. It's very strange. I've never been through nothing like this yet. This is new to me. But have you been listening to it? Uh, I didn't last weekend because I had other or last well, Thursday I, I had other yeah. things going on. Mm -hmm. And I won't be around this coming Tuesday because I'll be down at my mom's. So. Oh yeah, you got your hands full with all this medical stuff, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. Anything you do want to say while we're live, or do you want to just avoid that altogether? Oh, she. Hmm. She was she was invited to go see a great grandbaby for a week, and Your mother. and my little sister just sent me a text um, about that. But she was invited to go down. But since it's close to the Kansas City area, like thirty five, forty miles away, the rest of my family was having shit fits because they they got Corona in Kansas City, and she might get locked down, and blah 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 blah. Well, now my sister is going to wait until after mom's doctor's appointment and then take her down there, which, you know, is a couple weeks away. So this virus scare should be over with by then because viruses do run a certain course. Any doctor will tell you that. They do run a certain course and then they do die out. But then they have to have a vaccine to keep it died out because, you know, you can't have a natural immunity because we got to shoot you up with shit. But, you know. Mary, whatever. have you ever done the research to see where the idea of vaccine and inoculation came from in the first place? Yeah. 
Don't ask me to quote any of it just off okay. hand now, right now. But, did did that yeah. help? Okay, did that help to form present day decision you made? Knowing how it originated. Oh yeah. Okay, because there's so many details involved in this, so many ways to look at it. it. Wasn't the point. It was more. You're against it, correct? Oh, I'm most definitely against. Based on based on what you read that pointed you in that direction. <laughs> yeah, different studies right. and results, and yeah. Okay, now. And but, even a Supreme Court ruling. <clears throat> well. I'm not big on SCOTUS, but what I am big on is most people will believe the story they're told without investigating it. Oh, yeah, because it's easier. Okay. You know, it's easier but to let someone else do all the thinking and do all the dirty work. If you're using Google as a search engine, I would be suspicious about the results that you get. I use yeah. a different search engine to ask my computer use, questions yeah. about stuff. And I'm just, I use DuckDuckGo. Aha. See? Me too. But I got that. I don't know. I think I'll pick that up from Grinder. But uh, whatever the case is, I, I am a believer that Google defines your thinking for you and suits your ideas. It knows what to tell you. And... Firefox and uh, whatever DuckDuckGo thing doesn't seem to do the same thing the same way. A little more variety on the answer department. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But, you know, that's, of course, I'm jaded and I've been hanging around with people that have these ideas. So I might have picked them up from everybody else and I'm seeing it because I'm looking for it. I don't think I'm immune to group think. In some ways, common sense things that it helps when there's other people that see it and can explain it. And you can, ah, mm -hmm. I get that. Because you see weird things and you're not sure what to call them. <laughs> Just something doesn't feel right about that. What the hell is it? And then you find out, oh, the legal definition of this word and that word and the other word. And then when it, you start even digging deeper and you find out, well, who the fuck are these people to define the word in the first place? <laughs> See, yeah. so we're, we're being misled in so many areas of life but we don't we're the ones responsible to figure out which which ones are the truth and which ones are not I think you have to judge for yourself right and there's consequences for doing that by the yeah, way yeah but you should yeah. have to deal with the repercussions of yeah. your decision right or the rewards I mean mm -hmm. everybody goes I made that decision. I should reap all the rewards. Well, guess what? You made that decision. You should also reap all of the repercussions thereof. Okay. Well, I smoke the you know, the marijuana plant, so hmm. define that. That's illegal, I guess, in the eyes of the law. But it's not a uh, it's not a victim crime. People don't treat it the same, so they kind of turn their back to it for the most part in the first place. And what really has the attention of the state would be the trafficking of the cannabis plant. So the rest of us make it possible for the government to have a reason to step in and be a pain in the balls because of written law. See? So we're in this mind trap. It's for your own good bullshit. You know? And most everybody is convinced it is. Yeah. There's a handful, even RLMs, the the general public in RLM is improving the system that we have. And then there's a handful of us that say this whole fucking thing needs to die. It doesn't need to be replaced. It doesn't need any. It needs to be fucking killed. All of it is destroyed. And the only way it's going to ever happen is if we get really small and have to deal with the local community and get on the internet to talk to your friends in faraway lands. But end all this other shit. It's really the bad the bad part of it is all this global commerce and shit and polluting and destruction and war. Fuck, stick in your you know, hundred miles from where you're standing. Live there for for your life. <laughs> Leave everybody else alone. Yeah, well mm -hmm. Yeah. It it's all about consent. 
and you cannot have true consent if you are not informed as to what the rewards and repercussions, the known rewards and repercussions. We have implied consent. Yeah, I know. You know how many That's people are aware of that? You didn't come right out and say no, but... Yeah. You didn't, weren't even asked. They they made jokes about it in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Remember when up? Well, we posted it. Yeah, in the Jaguar cage down in the basement. You know, with a hungry Jaguar. Who's going to go there? <laughs> Never mind. Not me. But that's how they post shit, and that's how they justify. Well, we posted it. It's not our fault you didn't see it. Well, right, because nobody in their right fucking mind would go to see it. So it always is not seen. <laughs> Hence, we yeah. are surrounded by Nazis, Miss Mary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you know that there are people that live in the United States of America that do not know what socialism is? Uh, yeah. Do you know that those people think that they live in something they call... A democracy. <laughs> yeah. And and within the, the freedoms of their confined democracy, they have things like taxes and government spending bills. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> they, they have, yeah. I, I love that whole government <laughs> spending bill. You know, those are just basically... <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. This fictitious entity gets to come and steal your money, and then these people under the color of this fictitious entity get to spend it willy-nilly, and they pretend, they pretend like they're um, doing it for your own good, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you had the luxury of sitting in public office and finding out the hard way <laughs> Some people are are easily led like me and just believe the lawyer when he tells us the truth because the truth will knock you off your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. You wouldn't. Mm -hmm. The truth is so much more unbelievable than the story in, in so many ways. <laughs> but, well, that's why they have that saying, the fact, fact is stranger than fiction. Well, so, yeah. well, in the time that we do the podcast here, right? Every two, every second two people, give or take, like two, two percent, tell uh, two tenths die on the planet, you know, scale. Mm -hmm. So, it's all a matter of, just like everything else that we've ever had to deal with, it's how they represent how these people die to us to get the desired result out of us. So the more people that die of this coronavirus, the better. To keep the fear up so that we can all mm -hmm. live in this terror of passing something so dreadful on to the... Oh, crying out the fucking loud. The no see are going to get you. They are. Wow. But see, I wasn't raised like this. This is the opposite. I was raised like, hey... Virus, I kick your fucking ass all over the place. Bring it on. <laughs> and and here I'm surrounded by people that are just not physically. I'm in e, in the e world. I'm surrounded by people that are laying down to the threat of oh, this could be the one. <laughs> look look what they're writing. Look how bad it is in Italy. How many are of you are in Italy? <laughs> how many of yeah, you are well. in France? What is going on where you're at? That I think it's the Pope's fault. Hmm. Who's that? Uh, it's that not, was a somebody that joke. everybody wants to know if he's shitting in the woods. That was, and a, that was a Jew I'm joke. I'm like, where, I don't care. Uh, I was trying to be a Jew. Didn't I know you're being a Jewy bastard. Didn't work. Huh? I I went all woodsy. <laughs> woodsy. Well. Hmm. Well, there's only yeah. two ways to look at life right now, right? You're either being told the truth or you're being told a bit of the truth. And I just uh, cannot find the, the reason to believe all of this is true, the way that we're being told it's being told. Nah, then, nah, come on. 
they always tell okay. these wild tales, the government. Okay, so so if someone what? tells you a story, hmm. and the story is based on truth, hmm. but it's the story's a little bit on the fabricated side, you know, it's a little embellishment here, a little embellishment there. Hmm. Is the story still true? Of course it is. It all depends on the person that's listening. It doesn't matter about opinion. My opinion, your opinion, that is it. Nothing to do with uh, John Jones out there that might hear the program. You already have your mind made up, whether you admit it or know it or understand it. You might even go along with the crowd verbally, but deep down inside you go, well, I yeah, don't That's why really. I think they say, tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Mm-hmm. You know, th- at least on TV, that's what they say. Yeah, well, you know I've what Carlin? To do that. You know what Carlin said, right? What's that? He says, "Sure, I'll swear to God. Where, where do I sign? Fuck yeah. Okay, well, if I'm lying, why not swear to God? Of course, swear to God. <laughs> sure. What's he gonna do? <clears throat> Kaboom you right but there on the witness if, stand? If, if you are lying, you'll swear to anybody. Just what difference does it make? It's all nonsense. Well, it's the fear of God. And I'd love to know where in the hell that came from. You know, probably how, the how Jews. The hell did they, how did they convince people to be fearful of God? Well, the way I understand that, that was the first book. The Jews' book was pretty harsh. They got a, they got a greedy, jealous, violent, angry old prick up there, just looking for people to punish and torture. So if this is a greedy, jealous, angry old prick just looking for people to torture, is that the only reason that God created anything? Is so that it could eventually have, you know, people to torture and all that other fun stuff and demand sacrifices? And mm-hmm. what's the deal with demanding sacrifices? If huh. God created uh-huh. everything, isn't everything uh-huh. God's? And therefore, if you sacrifice, <laughs> you're basically trashing God's shit. So what's the deal here? You're vandalizing. Yeah. Vandalizing. Oh, but God said I'm no. supposed to do it. Yeah, God okay. told me to do this. And I'm going to do it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, um, yeah. I you know what? It. You know what we call people that when God talks to them, when they tell us, hey, you know, God talked to me the other day. And he said, those, uh, those shoes don't flatter you at all. You know, they tell you that. They go, well, you're a fucking nut job. Now, what if, that's really what happened. <laughs> How do you know? Yeah. Just because your illusion is different than my illusion, does that mean that my illusion never happened? No, it means it didn't happen to you. <laughs> that's right. But we're supposed to right. all be having the same motherfucking illusion all the time at the same time, Miss Mary. And if you're not I on the know. same page, you're going to get called a weirdo. <laughs> I would be called a heretic. <laughs> Non-believer. I've never seen a hairy tick before. I've seen some pretty creepy looking ticks. They look kind of like spiders or little blood sucking bastards, but kind of like politicians. In any case, they've got they've got coronavirus deniers partying on the beach in defiance of the state. Just exactly where we were promised we would never go ever. Free, proud Americans, free. Go be free, proud Americans. Go enjoy your life. Be free, my little goats. And now they're being free in the fucking states going, hey, get your ass off the beach. You're not allowed to do that. We have a oh, we have a lockdown Lord. going on here. What? Yeah, I know. And you know what? I saw a video on Twitter earlier today, and I thought, are they doing what I think they're Oh, that's just gross. They're, kids lined up. And they had beers, and they had, you know, people, like, doing the pose like they were getting ready to put their head in the sand kind of thing. Or at least the first person was doing that pose. And what they were doing was they was pouring beer down the crack of someone else's ass and drinking it. And they had this line of them doing it. And I thought, oh, it's no wonder this virus is here. We really need to be cleaned up. This is, wow. this is freaking ridiculous. Good God. Or is it a meme? Come on. How seriously can you take this shit, man? Please. Apparently, it was spring breakers down in Florida. Yeah. All I know is I sat there and, and seriously, and I watched this. How freaking brain damaged am I? 
I well, watched this like 15, yeah. 20 second video watching these people. Yeah. And then I had to watch it again. Yeah, like, exactly. Did they just think, do what I okay. They did? Think of the title. Uh, people will do anything for money in the first place. So. Well, yeah, for their 15 mm, seconds of fame. Yeah. And that was apparently yeah. 20 seconds of fame. And it's traumatized me for life. Because I'm thinking, that's just gross. You're pouring beer down someone's ass crack and then drinking yeah. it. Yeah, you're That's bizarre is somebody else's normal. You're normal is somebody else's bizarre. That's the design. That's where we're at. Just where we've always been. The generation before you or before them does something completely bizarre. And all the older people go all stupid and act weird. It's a generation uh, thing. Everybody does it over and over and over and act like it's some surprise. Oh, look at what these kids today are doing. Blah, 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 blah. Well, um, yeah. Kids are the experimental units. Yeah. Yes, they are. They are the experimental units. And I'm thinking, mm. dude, seriously? What? Wow. I mean, mm. I I did some stupid shit in my day. Mm. I will uh, admit to that. Okay. Mm. But I have, I have never even conceived mm. of the option. Of pouring a beer down someone's ass crack and then drinking it as it comes out the other end of their swimsuit. It's like, I mean, what if, what if they were peeing at the same time? Because it's wow. basically the same color. You, <laughs> you know, see, I've got such a boring life. My life is so boring. I had uh, three generations of Cirque's family over today. And uh, the eight of us together represent three different generations and we all get along and I don't see all this trouble and problem in the world. They went to the store, they got what they wanted, they came up, no shortages, nobody's panic shopping anymore. They did it for a few days and then the stores just tighten down and say, hey, people, think about it. You know, because yeah. there's a lot of older folk here. So this is a more reasonable place because nobody wants to fuck the old people up. It's it's more family related uh, culture than than you know uh, a mismatch of different countries all in one community where there everybody lives a different way like in in Frita or Frita, in Copenhagen where there's neighborhoods of this culture and neighborhoods of that culture this is different mm -hmm. because most of these people know each other so hmm. it's a different world I don't have any idea how this all happened. And you know what? It's not all of the United States that's like that. I would hope not. Jeez, that's embarrassing. But there's a few guys on the RLM that are, they're living in places that are getting picked clean by the, you know, the warriors and the preppers, whatever the hell that people want to be prepared and all that nonsense. I live for the moment still. Probably drive circ nuts a little bit, but I'm always willing to to go out and get the shit that I'm not willing to keep a stash of. Yeah. Uh, mm. Mm. Well, it makes a big difference in life when you're willing to keep the promises you make. <laughs> well, yeah. Some people just yeah. like to make a promise. To the, uh, well, I, yeah, well, I, and then that's that. But other people, not so much. Yeah. And here we are with all this threat and dragging us down in that weak hole. Oh, life's good. I mean, I've been alive a long time, and I'm telling you, it never seems to pay off to me to get sucked into that negative hole where everybody else is at. If I'm going to croak of this now, well, there you go. But I just, nah, come on. 60 years to get beat up by a cold? Are you fucking insane? Flash, no, no, you're no, in no. trouble. Why? What? Grim's going to tell on you. that Three generations, that's not proper social distancing. I know. I'm telling. But there was eight. Of, there was only eight of us. And we didn't. We didn't. Oh, so it was out. under the, the ten threshold. Yeah, but three okay. generations, and it was just. It's it's really interesting that how everybody's just kind of the same. We're all a bunch of sarcastic, funny people. It's no. It's. Mm -hmm. I I have a good time with these folks. Well, good. Yeah. Well, who knew? You know. 
but through all this crisis, they came, drove in from Copenhagen. And we had a big meal. <laughs> they made homemade rolls. Uh, she, Cirque knows oh, it's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> I love those hot rolls. So, yeah, they made a whole shitload of those. Cake. Her sister's got a birthday coming up, so we had a little cake today. Normal, you know, it's I don't see the drama here in Denmark that I, I do on the Internet. And when I go to town to go get stuff, the stores, sure, all their shit's playing along with it. But people are out. They're walking. They're going out with their kids. You know, the kids are stuck. So the, the parents take the kids out for a bike ride. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what I'm accustomed to at all. Yeah. So this is my first lockdown. And well, I guess I'm just doing it all wrong. <laughs> See, a lockdown really isn't all that scary when you lock yourself down most of the time anyway, and it's you only you only allow access to a limited amount of people. Yeah, I've never thought of it that way. So I'm just enjoying life like life's always been. It, nothing changed. I'm just feeling bad. I think <laughs> that little bit of me that has that empathy part that still bothers, I feel bad for people that are having a hard time. I'm just not good at expressing that because, you know, I don't see that anymore. It's a much uh, calmer place to live than where I'm from. Well, yeah. And there was that few, you know, a few days where, like, eggs, Some there was a rush on eggs one day. And the next day it was a rush on bread. But it it stopped. And People here are more reasonable. You you ask, man, come on, there's old folks and you don't. Don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not picketing in the street for their rights. <laughs> You're insulting me. Help, help. I'm being insulted by the state. They, I know. I'm triggered. Let's go get some Chinese food and, and we'll have a meeting. <laughs> yeah. Griff says, I was talking about Sir's Hot Buds live on the radio. <laughs> they was tasty, too. And they, man, they, these Danes. They accommodate me, you know, food-wise, because we eat a, a different style. But Danish rolls, huh? Well, oh yeah, but then Cirque's got these uh, <laughs> these ideas for me that, and then she cooks them in a Danish style, and it kind of creates a new food that other people never put together before. So she was doing that tonight with the family. Aha. Ah, Moosey says it's time for their mission, her and Zach. So have fun, you guys. Mission accomplished. They're go- they're going to Sam's Club. Oh. I haven't been to Sam's oh, Club in a while. I just, the closest Sam's Club, n- no, no. I'm just not going there. So I go to Costco with my daughter when I go out to see my daughter. The biggest store I was in. In the last eight years, was in North Carolina. And that was eight mm. years ago, longer than that. Wow. And I think it was a Walmart because um, that's what I think. Yeah, those super Walmarts are freaking massive. You I don't can get know. lost in one of those. No, I can't go. I can't get lost in anything. I've tried to get lost, and you know what happens. You find yourself, don't you? Never get, <laughs> yeah, never get lost. It's weird. Well, cool. So, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> it's better to be blessed than touched, though. Or maybe I'm touched. I don't know. Why not? What difference does it make? You know, uh, what you are is what you are. And and for everybody else to waste all their time defining it for you, <laughs> yeah, that's going to change it. Well, and see, that's why I was just trying to say touched, because there's so many different ways you can be touched. You can be touched in the head, you can be touched by Jesus, and you can be touched by Joe Biden. Oh, I mean, yeah. Hate- oh, yeah, I forgot to promote my POTUS, Joe Biden. Creepy Joe. Because yeah. Creepy Joe could fix all this shit, no problem. Stroke of the pen. Sure he can. Mm -hmm. No, I I want Biden to run with the coronavirus. 
Biden oh, hey, Corona. That could be a female running mate. Corona. My first choice was Jesus, but Jesus doesn't seem interested. But I bet you know, I bet if Creepy Joe could run with Jesus, he'd get he get selected. <laughs> you know why Jesus won't run with him because he can't get Joe to quit sniffing his hair. I seen a picture the day before yesterday of a close up of Biden with a child, and he was like had his mouth wrapped around the kid's chin. It was pretty vulgar. Oh. Yeah, I mean, well, it wasn't no like he was hungry. drawing blood or anything, but there was some suction going on there with a child's face and the future POTUS's mouth, and it was very disturbing. Couldn't find any other way to explain it than that. So, you know, I'm I'm marred for life. <laughs> uh-huh. But. Yeah, I'm sure. Far be it from me to not be able to say POTUS fighting, because it's his turn. Ask Hill Dog, she'll tell you. Yeah, well, she wants to be his running bait, so Joe can have an accident. Hell, yeah. he'd probably sacrifice himself to, on the altar for that family. That's some tight knit group of freaking weirdos, by the way, people. If you haven't ever noticed, take a good look at your fucking representatives. I don't want those people in front of me in a fucking toilet line. And they think they're representing me on paper. My ass, I say to you, sir. <laughs> Here, I'll give you some paper. Let me use it first. And then you can represent me with that. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, they've run out of toilet paper. Now what are you going to do? Yeah. Silent green. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, I kept seeing all of this stuff about, oh, my God, people have 50 bazillion rolls of toilet paper, but they have nothing to eat. Or in their cupboard, all they have is a few canned goods or whatever. And every time I saw something like that, it's like, tell them to put peanut butter on the toilet paper. It'll look like it's supposed to look, and it will still have some nutritional value. Wow. That's some hellacious advice to give people, you mean old lady. I wow. know. Well, you know, and and if you have chunky peanut butter. Mm, Who goodness. crawled up your beanstalk and got you all pissed off at? It it's just it makes I feel crazy when I see this stuff. It's like oh hey. Well, they couldn't have a more deserving population than the ones that they've got. Well, true. That's true. If you can actually look at the information and come out of this on the negative side of it and think it rules you, then you're exactly where the state wants you, I suppose. And if what I've been doing for the last two hours is insulting or rude, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, what a shame. Mm -hmm. Oops. But, no, I've been through this so many times in my life, over and over and over with this state and these viruses, and this is going to kill you, and that's going to kill everybody. Nothing. No, we're still here. So, hmm. Be afraid. It makes you feel better, but you're not you're not helping anything by being in fear, especially not yourself. That's my opinion. Well, yeah. If I'm in fear yeah. of this, there's no way in the world I can help you through it, Miss Mary. Is what I'm saying because I would too be in the fear that keeps me weak, and I'm not there. If I get there, I'll be the first one to admit it and seek some kind of remedy. Get me out of this. Help, help. Yeah. yeah. I'm just fortunate enough not to be ill and be of the age group where this is susceptible. And I'm hanging out with the whole fucking family of three generations all in one room. And I'm still alive. So, hmm. Let us ponder. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. all he's got is self, the nephew. He's uh, 15 now, so I'm 16. 15, I think. And he's got himself a girlfriend, steady girlfriend. She's been over here a, a, twice so far. So, I'm, Ooh. yeah, and I'm the old guy, so I don't want to, I don't want to overdo paying too much attention to this kid in case this isn't going to last too damn long. We'll see. You know, and I don't, I don't know. So I'm just kind of watching and it's fun. It's entertaining to see the young kids 
be growing up, you know, doing their thing and stay out of it, not be part of it, so to speak, where you can control shit. Can you really control anything? Oh, my father had fucking rules up the wazoo. That's why it didn't work. I didn't I didn't comply. So, yeah, they still work. Even though I didn't comply, he didn't have to put up with what I wouldn't do or would do. So, yeah. Cause and effect. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's like how I look at this uh, anarchy concept. And to me, it's just a thought. You know, action, physical group. There's no secret fucking handshake. Me and Grim God on the internet where we know each other. We're just anarchist-minded well, you know, folk. We think we don't want to be ruled. It doesn't mean anything more than that. We don't want rulers. You want rulers. I don't. I don't want rulers. I uh, yeah. I want rulers if I need to draw a straight line. Other than that, I really don't have a use for one. Right, but see, through the aid of the the media, TV, and movies, and all this shit, the popular definitions of these things have been perverted to a scale that's you can't defend it because the, all these guys watch a link for five minutes and they're yeah I'm an expert on anarchy now I see what it really is what <laughs> it doesn't even exist wow. that's the whole thing is anarchy is just a thought that you don't want to do. I don't want to do that. How can you put something like that on a group? How can you, it's insane that they've just got us believing the most ignorant shit there is to believe. Well, you know, we're going to have an anarchy member and we're going to elect a president and a vice president and a secretary and a treasurer and everybody else says, fuck you. Pretty yeah, much. That's... Wouldn't it be what a true anarchist would say is, yeah, I'm not. You're out of your fucking mind. Well, then where yeah. is this group? It's all a way to control the voter. It's a tool to use against them. Ah, oh, it's terrible. And we got so yeah. raped along the way because we're pretty much harmless individuals. you know. And then put us all at the same place at the same time. And the last thing we would do would be violent. We would get along fine. Ask anybody from the RLM that's met other people from the RLM. And they're, they all, you know, there's a few cases where they physically met up and they know each other. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. Ta da. It's just. I have, wow. I've actually met a few people from the interwebs, and I'd say I'm batting about 50 50. So. See? Eh. And what can you say? Because in person, we always disappoint each other. <laughs> Well, yeah. Everybody gets mad at you sooner or later. And no such thing as perfect. You'll say or do something. And that's just life, right? But here we are in this this uh, biologically uh, pure world of fucking snivelers that want you to know, wash your hands every time you... Wow, get the fuck away from me, weak nut job. <laughs> that's the way I see it. You know, if I don't have the, the good sense to stay the fuck away from you already, I sure as hell didn't need the threat of a virus to, to be taught the lesson. <laughs> you didn't? No. Why, you no. rebel, you. I know. I've never just never been a big old huggy, lovey, dovey person. But now that we get this virus. See, and that's what I think totally sucks. Cause I'm a hugger. I'm not, but now that we've and got my this, mother's a hugger. I did. I hugged the bartender's wife and shook his hand last time I seen him. That's right. Well, I, me and I, I avoid people like they were made out of shit balls. I'm not a big fan of people, and this bartender and his wife know that. That <laughs> they're bartenders. They know what they're looking at. I see you. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. Right, so uh -huh. to be accepted in a in a place like that by the people that own it is kind of cool, especially the way that I live here. You know, and they don't give a fuck; they're nice about it. So, wow, what a I lay, it's like being like I crash landed in Denmark in this alien spaceship, and nobody sees my alienness. 
<laughs> they just don't seem to give a shit. Um, maybe they see your alienness, hmm. but they just plain ain't going to go there. Because, well, you know, you are kind of alien. Well, I'm looking for this nightmare with this crap to end in another eight days. I think the 30th, nine days. And uh, we'll see. if the I'm going to go with the public here saying to me that the government will do something for maybe two weeks and then it'll be over. But let's we got to go along for this ride now. So I'm taking their advice as this is their home. And then Cirque's family comes over for a visit. So, man, that, that doesn't get any better than that. There you go. <laughs> Bunch of rebels. Well, thanks a lot, Miss Mary, for joining me here at the dork table on this uh, Saturday afternoon. You got anything to say before I kill this show? Before, you're going to kill it? Oh, we're all going to die. Uh, no. Just breathe, people. Just <laughs> breathe, okay? And get yourself out of that fear zone because that's where they want to keep you. Get away from the fear zone. Yeah, try to be, yeah, stay on top of yourself. Whatever the hell that might mean to you, I don't know. Be positive. Oh, that, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm trying to picture staying on top of <laughs> myself. I don't know. Uh, you know, be be positive I'll work on that. instead of uh, down and oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Because you make you whatever know, you want real out of your head and happens. So think about that. None of us get out of here alive. Nope. So you may as well enjoy the trip. Ta-da. There you go. Good night, everybody. Good night. Have an awesome weekend, everyone.